Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and Great Scott! It's already Wednesday, October 21st, 2015. That's right, Back to the Future Day, where everything seems to change for the better, or what seems to be. But unfortunately, if you saw Back to the Future 2, and looking at, at it right now, things hasn't changed much as we know it. I mean, already we are getting some other stuff that we already have predicted, or what seems to be. We did actually have the USA Today uh, newspaper that just came out uh, in honor of the Back to the Future 2 film. There was Pepsi Perfect that just came out. You know, already selling like hotcakes already. Yeah, since it's only there for a limited time, and it's only $20.16. And, wow, however we don't have the hoverboards already available, and yeah, because I think they're working on it. And the Nike shoes, which I know they've been working on it, are actually preparing it for next year, sadly. But I think they're already, you know, coming up with more um, shoes to, to fill. So yes, they're actually making some more of these, especially when they're already donated from the Michael J. Fox Foundation. But yeah, um, I'm just glad that everything's going on so far. Yep, and they just did an interview with the cast. Uh, at this rate, uh, Michael J. Fox, Christopher Lloyd, and Leah Thompson on the Today Show on NBC. Yep, so you even got to see the DeLorean <laughs> so all this time. Yeah. Yep, also uh, Back to the Future, the 30th Anniversary Trilogy just got released this week. Once again on Blu-ray, also this time with new packaging, they got some new features, that's why they added the new bonus disc, and not only that, but they finally got the animated series. Yeah. But considering that I have all the previous Back to the Future trilogies already on Blu-ray and DVD, yep, I even have the first movie as a two-disc set on DVD. You know, all with the slip covers. I don't know. Um, I'll take my chances on it, but I would love to get the animated series. There's no doubt about it, because that's a show I grew up watching when it aired on CBS, and they then they later showed them in reruns on the Fox box. Yep. Which um, at the time, you know, Fox had came up with a new uh, Saturday afternoon block replacing Fox Kids. So they had the guts to actually play reruns of the Back to the Future animated series. Yeah. Wow, I mean, what a day. Especially this week. But you know, I'm just happy things are going so well. It's just too bad when we don't have any flying cars around and you know, we don't have any of the hoverboards already as we know it, we're, although they're working on it, but still. But um Hey, I mean, it's not so bad. I mean, at least we're getting what we're, we can for for 2015. So, and so far, this is um, this is becoming a good year at, at this rate. But I'm just happy that um, you know it's already celebrating its 30th anniversary of Back to the Future, and I always enjoy the entire trilogy. You know, I grew up with them. I remember seeing the third film in theaters. I think I saw the second one as well. I know I did. I mean, spare me on that one, but still. <laughs> I always loved Back to the Future. I grew up with them. And, yeah. <laughs> and I'm just happy that everything's turning out good for the better. They're also playing the, the trilogy in theaters, still, Also. In an honor for its day. So that's cool. <laughs> Well, also this week it's a new Back in Time documentary which talks about the history and the sequence behind the Back to the Future trilogy with new interviews with the cast from the film. At this rate, we'll probably get to see new interviews with Michael J. Fox, Christopher Lloyd, Leah Thompson, and maybe some others. Yeah, and, and everything that they go about, you know, on how they made all this possible but yeah well I can't believe it 30 years already and it still remains 
uh, an all-time 80s classic. Yep, and that's for sure. But I'm just happy. So anyway, happy Back to the Future Day. I'm Joseph A. Saboro, and I'll see you in 30 years in the future. Well, it'll probably be, as we speak, 2045 <laughs> by then. I'll probably be 60 years old by then. Well, anyway, I'm still going to continue with all the movies and all that. I mean, goodness knows. So, I'll see you later. Bye.